One of the features of Vcast is to be able to have multiple devices displaying at the same time. We call it multiple screen. Now, this setting is turned on by default, but just to verify that it's turned on, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Vcast open. We're gonna go to our settings button, and you'll notice that the multiple screen option is here, and it's currently set to four screens. Four screens is the max. You could also set it to two, or you could set it to disable. Now, since we're in the settings for Vcast, uh, something that you probably wanna have turned on to make this process simpler for you is this pin code visible option. The reason why we want the pin code visible is because when someone casts in, we call it the first device in, the code disappears. And so then the next device will still need to see what the code is so that they can be that second or third or fourth screen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have our first device cast in and you'll see that it took over the screen. So we, that's again, the first device in. Now the second device can also see the pin code. There it is at the top. And when they try to present in, you'll get this notification that says allow um, or deny. And if you allow them, then it will go into split screen. If I deny or let it sit, it'll just time out and nothing happens. So we'll go ahead and have that device do it again. We'll choose the allow option. And now you'll see here that I am in split screen. Now you have a few icons below each screen. Uh, what this does is, for example, uh, remember Vcast gives you touch back unless you're on a Chromebook. Uh, I can enable or disable touch for each of my windows. Uh, I also have the ability to come in and uh, full screen it. So if I hit the full screen button, you'll see that it zooms on that one device. The other device is still there in the split screen mode, um, but it just allows me to focus in on this device. I can also adjust the volume. I know that's a little hard to see, but you can control the volume for the device. I can then minimize it, and then that would go back to the multiple screens here. I also have the ability to X someone out. So if I'm finished with this screen, I can exit out and then it focuses on the only screen that's displaying. Now remember, this is kind of a first come first serve feature. So first screen in, second screen gets the uh, second panel. If I were to allow a third or fourth device, it would just keep tiling it. When you get to a fifth device, what it does is it just kicks out the first person that was in. So. Vcast receiver is a great way to run multiple screens. Just make sure your settings are set correctly and follow this process.